Yo, what's up, you forlorn? <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering that name, man. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming out. Right, so yeah, some Dangan Romper. Let me just uh, edit this shit. Uh, uh, done. Did it. That's what the title's going to be. Done did it. Try maybe Mr. Fluffy. Hey, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Dangan Rompa. Trigger Happy Havoc. Just done. Alright, there we go. Alright, well, why don't we just uh, hop on in continue uh, yes <clears throat> right so last we left off because it was a, a, about a week ago uh, last we left off two people I liked two people that I was trying to sort of become buds with uh, one of which was a bro and a half who's lying dead on the floor right now Let's just go say hello. Um, two people I basically were trying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, if you've not seen this, Fluffy, before. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a weird game. Basically, you have to try and figure out who killed people uh, and who the murderer is. But yeah, last we left off. Uh, Jugo. No, 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 no. I've, I've, I've changed that. No, we're not doing Outlast at the moment, mate. Um, we're going to be doing Outlast every Saturday. Every Saturday, we're going to try and do Outlast too. Sorry, pal. Um, but yeah, last we left off, uh, Junko died, and so did Sayaka. I think her name was Sayaka. And we're just trying to figure out who the fuck did it, because they were the two people that I was trying to be buds with. So yeah, let's fucking look at this. Yeah, she's dead. I nothing else to say, she was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Yeah, I, I've changed that now. I, I forgot about it. That's my bad, pal. That's my bad. Uh, I don't know why you've uh, even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Hold on. J just wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. She, she's dead? Then that means... What? That means everything that's happened so far is real. It's not a joke or whatever. No worries, man. Thanks for coming out, anyways. Um, that means everything that's happened so far is real. Not a joke, whatever. It's real. Let me out of here. Yeah. Hell no. Someone save me. Let me out of here. Somebody help me. What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? I mean, she's not wrong. It took him a fucking while. Let's try something real fast. Let's just, uh, bam. All right. Uh, let's talk to let's talk to Biakia. Hmm. See, hello. We need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Yeah, no shit. Uh, let's talk to Leon. Leon's fucking cool. Are you serious? So we're really gonna try and figure out, uh, find out who did it. Yep. Mm. If we find out who did it, then only the person that uh, then. Only that person dies, but if we get it wrong, then all the rest of us face execution. 
That's what? That's ridiculous. School regulation said. Wait, that's what the that ridiculous. Okay, ah, uh, right. So stupid. You're not wrong. Celeste, Celeste. Oh. You're you're normally cool, calm, and collected. You got this. <laughs> See, finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? Notice what? <laughs> I was looking through a monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Mm -hmm. Huh? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? <laughs> yeah, she died in my dorm. Ah. Sh she's right. <laughs> then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. I ain't do it, fam! I don't think. Hold on a second, you've got it wrong. For just one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. Do you expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. The, the look in everyone's eyes had, like, had done a complete 180 from one, uh, just a few moments later. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned, in other words. You think I did it? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I did it. What the heck? I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it, or else we're all dead. So I feel like she's important, so I'm going to leave her to last. Huh? Is this really happening? Don't fuck with me. Screw that piece of shit, bear. Let me out of here. Come on, man. Let me out of here. Come on, someone let me out. We can't run away from this situation, so we have no for no choice but to move forward. Okay. What should I Someone do? Someone got right in front of us. They. <laughs> Let's talk to crazy bitch. She must be so shocked. She can't even open her mouth to talk. Here for me. Um. Consciousness at a crash. Restarting. Please wait. <laughs> this fucking guy. Alright, let me check someone. Okay. Alright. I mean, the only person to talk to now is... Not I. Yeah. Let's go. Hey. Before we start searching for Psyker's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing a crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty, so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think, anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then. We can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> Well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. But fuck you. So then. Fine then. I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Mm -hmm. To play a co-op based defense with the two of them and with their stats, they're totally OP. Huh. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Saika. We'll have to collect clues from the foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say more? Perhaps See, we... I'd really rather you didn't Goodbye. know. Everyone, pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going to... Now, yeah, just like that, Kyoko. He was gone before we realized no. it. Yeah, I'm going guard duty, huh? I'd better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying You're that evidence, they better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn sco Oh. I'm serious, I will fuck them up. Don't want none of that ravioli. 
Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he, sh uh, he and Sakura ran off. So, but, um... I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway. We don't really have to do, any to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sakura. Fuck you! This is very... It was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. Don't come any closer, you're gonna kill me next. That bitch is crazy. I guarantee she's the fucking, like... I, yeah, she's gotta be doing something. Well, I guess it would t wouldn't would hurt to give it a shot. It's not f uh, for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um. True, true. That's true. See? This guy knows. We may as well at least check it out. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? I'm not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you. Savage. But Leon is right. He my man. Alright. I guess I'd better get going. W wait. Don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at, uh, looked at, looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Yeah, I cannot read it today. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is... Execution. Electric chair. Bzz, bzz, poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Oh. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out that way. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sarka. Oh no. Oh no, I have no fucking like inkling of an idea. Victim was Sarka Mayazono. Time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury on her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what. Huh. So that we can all survive and for Sayaka. I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma File 1 has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Anyone else around? Man. I'm still bummed about Junko. Aren't you going to help investigate Chihiro? Um. But I can't leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. Fair enough. No way. I seriously don't want to die here. I beg could you God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me. Motherfucker's playing to everybody. I don't care who it is, just get me out of here. Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Guy's fucking useless. Yeah, leave the gym. Right, so she was stabbed in the abdomen. Tell you what. Time of death is estimated to be around 1.30. Let me just check. Uh, victim was Sayaka Mayazono. Time of death is estimated to be around 1.30. AM, the body was discovered in McCourt's room, dormitory, the death took place in the bathroom, caused death, stab wound to the admin, fractured right hand, stab wound, I should check to see if the, uh, cause we had, I had the sword in my room, correct? So I'll check there first. I went back the wrong way. I had seen a car in my room. 
We won't make any progress without investigating now. True. <clears throat> I'd better examine the state of my room a little. Maybe there was something new. The sword. Has it got any blood on it? Self defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised. It's coated in gold. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of part of the blades and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. Remember the coating sticks to you even if you touch it a little bit. I should check her hands. See if it was her that used it or if it was the killer. Has been added to the truth bullets. Get down my name so it must be my room key. If I remember correctly. No, that's right. We'd have to trade keys. Yeah. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true then, how did the killer get in to the room? Yeah, that's true. I forgot to lock the door. No, that seems impossible. Right, who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if it's... I'm sure it's you. I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Saika was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... It's been added to the bullets of your sections. Hmm. Look at the line roller. It looks like there's way less than there was before. Sorry, I can see how dark my room was. Just try to clean up a little bit. I don't think so. Let's check the sheath. Not because what I bought back for some friends. Okay, it's just the same thing. First place. Even if someone just used a sword for a struggle, it shouldn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, first thing you got to do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this but only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of a fight. So why are the scratches on the sheath? It's been added to the truth of your section and book. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. The evidence of a struggle. Well, yeah. Looks like there's been some kind of fight. Damn it. I was right in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. Huh. Don't you remember all our rooms? Yes, yeah, true again. I, I, things I've completely been forgetting. So you could happen in a room right next to you and there's no way you well. could know. Perhaps that was another monicum of strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Maybe she left it or not. Notepad's still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. No. <clears throat> like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? There's scratch ghosts on my wall and bed. If the evidence, yeah, okay, so is that the same thing? Mm. Well, <clears throat> do you think I'm good with Ito? Hey. I try not to make some like that. I simply don't. What I uh, don't know whether or not you did this. Whatever decision the rest of you come to or come up with, I will follow your lead. Alright. By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have eat, uh, already destroyed some of the evidence right before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash uh, there's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. I maybe. You if they're stupid enough. 
shit. Only resist her head to a woman and scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught You're me. Fucking dead. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But, but what if it was a girl? That's what I was thinking. Yo. That will all get sorted out when the time comes. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Are you a clean freak? No, I don't think so, but... Nording, she glanced around my room once more time. Yeah, the guy used the ruler thing to clean up the room I while the killer. What's your hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, well, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. Looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Someone have used it too. Yeah. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Psycho or the killer? Well. Yeah. Maybe a camera caught it? Is there any way to see the camera footage? Mastermind must have been using them to keep an eye on everything that's been happening here. They don't do anything what's, uh, to stop what's happening. They just have to keep on watching. Hmm. Girls on, it's just showing the school crest. Check the drawers, maybe there's something in there. So evidence has been used, which makes me sense, I guess. I mean it's mine, I haven't had any reason to open it. Can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like Yo. this. What? We ain't exactly in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? <laughs> so you haven't used yours either what? then. Not just me, what? nobody's busted theirs out yet as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. None of the guys have opened their toolkits because it's like why the hell would we? Okay. Why do I feel like it's gonna match the 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 uh, weapon used to kill her? It's gonna be like a screwdriver or something. No, I didn't. Okay, yeah. Okay, side of this door. Need to go in there and investigate. Can't afford to freeze up now, forcing myself to panic. I stepped into the bathroom. Oh, it, oh yeah, I forgot the knife was in there. Fuck. I completely forgot about it. Looking at her made it painful and clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. But I can't hesitate now. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse, but that thought filled me up and supported me. She was trying to write something on the wall. Look this wall behind her. And there I saw. No. No, it's not Leon. Written in blood. No, cause look, that's Leon. That's a Leon, not not one one zero. Th look, you can see a cross in the fucking. So I could do this. I pulled out the monocle of my file to verify what's said about her body. Some killing blow. 
but whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should know later. Cordic just want to come a file, sorry, because right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. <clears throat> there's gold on it though, but there's something sort of glittery on the wrist too. So she was right there where her wrist is swollen. Was. Yeah, that concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is there's some blood uh, on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are completely spotless, so I calm only her left finger. Handbook. Stab her under the stomach is what killed her, so when her, she broke her wrist, she must have happened earlier on. How would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? She broke her wrist during the struggle. Killer attacked Psycho in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom. They inflicted this deadly wound. Turned off at night time. Hmm. Yeah. It would seem the bloody numbers. <clears throat> I've never seen something written in blood before. That was really her final message. It's as if she wrote it with her life herself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? The numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea. So. The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. She wrote them in that location while she was sitting there. The way we found her means she must have wrote them by only turning her hand towards the wall. Well, think about it. Makoto. You're convinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. It's it's Leon. That's what it says. Not one one. Whatever. Oh, my Makoto. programmer. There's one thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how to uh, how the door to your bathroom got broken? I mean, how it gets stuck. What? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Correct. Door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. That's right. No way I'm talking about. It. Huh. Doorknob. It hmm. would seem screwdriver or something. Yeah, see, I knew a screwdriver was involved somehow. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. Uh, it was intentional? Why would someone want to do so... that? Maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have... Yep, see? But they thought it was locked, so they did that. <clears throat> she stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently she struck with a sudden realization. She shot a question Just at me. A second. You mentioned earlier your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? You told Saik about it? Only you and mm -hmm. Saika know. Yeah. So she would be locked in there and then they would try and get it open. <clears throat> so this hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense she was really starting to get into all this. Goodbye. We need to check everyone's tools. <clears throat> Time to left the room. I've already given 
my room a good once over maybe I should look around somewhere else I should start by looking into where the murder weapon might have come from and also I should look at the DVD Saika got sure there was some areas worth checking out too maybe I should see what everyone else thinks if they'll even talk to me by the way you son of a you're fucking dead. Yeah, it's just the same. Yo. Okay. Whew. Right, mo yep, leave. You did it. You did it, Leon. I know you did. Like... Wanna go with Faster Tycho? It's killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? What? Could it be what? What did you say? What? This is Saika's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. I was gonna say, I was like, what the fuck? So all of that effort I put into switching our rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Yeah. What is this? I t oh, Leon did it, man. He has Seems to have. Like... Mm -hmm. Okay, and this was on the your room. Let me just say no, this. Perhaps they will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you think I'm really guilty? Yep, Junko dead. Where's Leon's room? Where's Leon's room? Hey, you bastard! I mean, seriously? It's not natural at all. Fucking, he did it. He did it. I know he did it. He's hiding it in his room. Some kind of switch, I wonder what it does. Just getting coins. I like it. No. There's a sturdy gate here, nowhere to get past. It's the end of the line, the trash room. This is where all the trash at the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't no, 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 no. Entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. You can't go any further. Who's on no, cleaning? No, you can't go any further. I'm gonna punch this bear in the face. No, no, you can't go any further. Punch that bear right in the face. Okay. Guarantee Leon's on cleaning duty. Just saying. Guarantee. Because my desk must be using cameras to observe our investigation. Force us into a situation like this. What the hell do they want from us? I'm 
Uh, maybe they tried... No, because they have their own bathrooms, so they wouldn't wash their hands, right? In here. Hmm. Oh no, guys. I'm confused. Oh no. It's just fish. Nothing else. Fish tank. There's a bunch of little fish swimming around inside. Can't imagine how this has anything to do with gas. Getting mad money. Tell me anything about cleaning tree. Such Dick. ignorance. You're like a child lost in the woods, you know that? What a total waste of space. Hmm. Tack is the one who has any uh, any any interest in organization. I'm gonna kill that guy. I'm gonna kill him. I don't care. Seems like Alright, so he's not gonna tell me anything about it. I'm looking for Amazon mm. Fleet. Cleaning tree. As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? Wanna come and try to talk to me yesterday and ask me to take care of it? Without someone on cleaning J8, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> hmm. I should start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started yet. Since you're on cleaning J8, you can open the gate from the <laughs> trash room. Yeah. Huh, huh. Mm -hmm. Take it once a week, so eventually you'll be in Very charge. Strange. Need a key to get trash room, and only one person on cleaning has access to the key. What's the point of going to all the trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all just... Because then it's going to be too easy to get rid of shit. So in other words... This film student Blacken will graduate my last year. Yeah. So mm. that's it. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroy an evidence for peace. Exactly. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. Hey, listen. Hey, you bastard. Fatty, what did you want to, uh, what did, why do you want to do the cleaning gig oh, anyway? I just um, decided to volunteer for something I know no one else would want to do. You, is it like... It doesn't surprise me that he would do something like that, honestly. There's no way to think about this. You know what I mean. But they're all kind of trash diggers like that. Maybe you get tired of the day and turn into. <laughs> I would never get tired of 2D! After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection. <laughs> oh, and PVC figures. So worried about who from his questionable morality, there's an easy solution. Whenever a guy has clean juice, Sakura can accompany him from picking up the trash to disposing of it. What? If you're innocent, as you claim, where's the harm? Very true again. Kuh. That's not how it's supposed to... Anyway, onto another topic. Hey, for me, since you were on clean juice, you have a favor to ask mm -hmm. you. I certainly want to join my party. Sorry, but you've already triggered that flag. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from my past trauma or save a village or Peter Bot. This fucking guy. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look Yay! around. We headed to the trash room. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. And we told him to get, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife, he learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me. If me pulled a key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate, and then... Mr. I just saw something with blood on it. Without a doubt. I just want to see if the actual killer tried to destroy any evidence mm. or not. Mm. It's you, isn't it? Mm. Oh, this fucking guy, you want to see if you left anything what? behind. Wait, maybe a parallel... This fucking guy, man. Let's just hurry up keep looking. See, look. I knew it. Front of the incinerator. 
Looks like a burnt piece of clothing. It's like a, uh, a mm. calf or something. Hunk, a hunk of burning love. It's fucking... This is a sleeve. There's definitely blood on the cuff, which means this is all that's left of some evidence to kill a... Uh, hey, Rich Sabino. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming along. Uh, this is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there's lots of people here while, uh, with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Burnt shirt piece has been added to the truth bullet section. From Taka. There are shards of broken glass scattered around the front of the incinerator. I suspect Leon, because uh, on the wall, there was the numbers, like, I think it was 11037, but it looked like there was a cross connecting the two ones, and if you flip it, it says Leon, not 11037. Looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball. Just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Mm -hmm. So if you collect all set oh, fucking this guy mm. with his fucking Dragon Ball. Is there a well? I don't think there is. Uh, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see in a big city street corner. Get us into it, we'll show you a glimpse. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm. That fortune guy. But who did this particular ball belong to? There's no more person it could be. They should still be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Shout crystal ball has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. A green button with a yellow and a yellow button. There's no doubt they're related to the big mechanism. Uh, let's have a look in here. This is the incinerator. It's a way to get back. It's a good thing, 30 feet from the gate, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow button sticks to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, it's a pretty simple setup. Push the green button to get it going, yellow button to turn it off. So later you'll be on cleaning duty, so it makes sure you learn this before. <laughs> Has a plethora of those references. <laughs> it's, it's good to see references from other games and anime and manga kind of thing. But this guy just triggers me. He's so over the top. This is an Ace Attorney joke. Ace Attorney is meant to be really fucking good. Very strange. I'm quite sorry that it was off the last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. No, you said that last time you were here. The incinerator was off. Yes. And about that, there could be no mistake. If I've... Uh, Got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel Yesterday, <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on them. No, I am not shimming his love for duty. He can do what he wants to do. But it's his personality that pisses me off. Uh, I came down to check the place out. It was definitely wasn't on them. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the one who gets the key to open the gate... I have been ordered to be his love, to be his life. <laughs> yeah, but to be or not to be, man. Most suspicious. T-I-C-C. T-H-I-C-C, what? It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... Yeah, so that means someone was able to... Idea. Idea. You might... You're gonna have to tell me whether it's possible or not, right? They somehow, they use some, something to get the shirt and uh, other sort of shit into the incinerator. Then used the crystal ball, threw it at the button to turn it on. And that's how it smashed. 
was able to switch on the turret without opening get, but how is that possible? I you don't know thick thick thighs? No. Has been added to the truth bullets of your section uh, handbook. This guy, whole thing's quite interesting, indeed. Maybe, I'm going to say this right now, maybe it was Leon, because, you know, the baseball guy. When I was here last, incinerator was off, and those glass shards, burnt clothing, weren't. What does it all mean, Mr. Nagy? Will you be confessing? I'm going to punch you in the face, I ain't do shit. If one already knows you did it, all the mysteries are being solved one by one. It sounds like he's living out his own comic book fantasies. Right, well, let's turn that off real fast. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't want to turn it off. 2B has thick thighs in the butt. Oh! Are you talking 2B from, um... 2B from... Near Automata. Sorry, it just hit me. I'm stupid. Leave me alone. It's <laughs> weird to back up for trash room and script three from the game. Yeah, but I can't and I can't turn it off. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. 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 Right, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Unless, wait, what's this? Oh, never mind. Right, exit. Yes. You did it! I know you did it! Damn it. Keep pushing F to go through these fucking doors. It's I forget it's just click. No. Don't want to talk to this guy. I need to find out because this guy probably kitchen trash room, Makoto psycho room, DVD room. The yeah, kitchen for the knife. I'm, I'm yeah. Uh, need to go to the uh, psycho's room to get the DVD from the trash can to put it in the DVD room. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I'm finishing this thread before I get there. I have a teleport? Bruh! Uh, um. Thank you for letting me know. That would save me a lot of time. Huh, Makoto? What are you doing here? What? Hey, um. Does this look familiar? That's my crystal ball. But it's all smashed. What the hell? I only bought it because the, the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? What? Fucking guy, man. It was actually just made of glass, not crystal. That guy totally duped me. Uh. He said it belonged to the pillars of history. Uh, Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. Who would fall for something like that? He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously OBS? Um, let's put that aside for now. So you could say without a doubt this belonged to you. Um, yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. Okay, that means you would have. Uh, anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered crystal ball. Has it been updated in the truth bullets of your section? Thanks, hero. That's all I wanted uh, to know. Um. You'd love to send him a certain bridge. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Uh, Everything I said. <laughs> this guy came out to be like a million. Oh! Uh, um, it's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just too, too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Fam. Yeah, I've been there. I've been there. Million bucks and lose it to con artist. Yeah, yeah. Rip the dream, fam. Rip the dream. Right. Yes. 
So if I go, ha ha, nah. It's just a minute hole. Hmm. Teleport. Let's go. I should be kitchens as well. What do you think of this? You know, are you investigating the dining hall? Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been uh, taking a break since we started. Pretty much me. This is all first for me. You know, I don't have a first clue of what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> And I don't know why, but being in a dining hall helps me keep keep me calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just kind of been hanging around. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayako was killed. Anyone else in here? Nope. That way. That's a lot of fucking vegetables. Where are the knives at? There we go, missing knife. No kind of knives here, big to small, but looks like one of them is missing. Wait, was, was it missing from the very beginning, or I doubt it. I'd better see if anyone knows more about it. Well, we might as well. What's vegetables all about? up? Oh, I don't see any not worthy about them. Coin! <laughs> Meats, marbled meats, silver meats. Now it's thinking about it. Yep. I will. I will. Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Exactly, Sabino. You know, man. You know. Go to wood them ladies. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange. A knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up nice and neat in a row. So, when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well, well I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So what you're saying is the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining mm -hmm. hall. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. And then you should be able to say for sure. You could tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. I's account has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Um... Did you really kill Psycho? We just discussed that I didn't! I would never. You know, do you think I really murdered her? I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her? On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then killing one and one calling, killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together... Aww. I honestly have no idea. You know what? I have enough of your bullshit. I... I ain't do it. She's a bully. You want me to talk to Hina, right? Where is Hina? Uh. Is that one Hina? I forgot. I can't remember who Hina is. Let's talk to her anyway. Hina wants to go in the dining hall. Never mind. I'm smart. I feel like she's up to something, man. I feel like she's shifty as fuck. 
I don't know, it could just be me. To kill someone, just to save your own life. And I've been living with someone like that. I think I might vomit. I'm gonna punch you in the face. But it was Monokuma said really true. Did one of us really kill Sayaka? <laughs> if the mastermind really was gonna get involved, they would have just killed us on day one. That's a good point. By the way, how's your investigation going? I already told you. I don't do blood, so I don't plan on doing any investigating. Or free time Hina or free time Toko? Besides, I already know who did it. This is After all, very suspicious. where was Saika killed? In your room, right? W what more proof do we need? We already know the truth. She really doesn't trust me at all. So people and their intentions, though. Yeah, I assumed so. I assumed that's like how you got to know their intentions and shit. Uh, I'm gonna. I probably go to free time. Um, the girl with white hair, like the the one that seems quite cold. Um, gonna free time her because she seems like she got her shit put together, even though I'm pretty sure she's screaming on the inside. Um, and Celeste because they seem to be the logical ones, and they seem to have their shit together. So if I get them on my side. People will then sort of get the idea. They're like, yeah, look, see, they're, he's a good guy. He did do this, blah, 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 blah. That's my theory anyway. I don't know if it's going to work out that way, but she really doesn't trust me at all. Yeah. Also here, you know, might not be the smartest, but what do, she doesn't have in brain, she has her in donuts. <laughs> Should I check the laundry? I feel like I should check the laundry room. Maybe someone left something here. Yeah, I was. I was, believe it or not, right? Um, I was going to try... Uh, like, untrustworthy drills to Celeste. Yeah, Celeste is definitely... I'm definitely going to be talking to her. I don't know why. Like, she does seem a tad untrustworthy. But there's something that's drawing me to her, you know? I'm sort of like... I feel like I feel like having her on my side is going to be a good thing. But yeah, uh, I was talking uh, and sort of trying to get on my side uh, both Sayaka, because that's basically thrown at you. And they're like, yeah, talk to her. And, um... Oh, what was her name? The girl on the front of this magazine. I've, I've completely forgot her name. Uh, Junko. There we go. Yeah. Anyone leave anything in here? Why is there a swimming suit? But I got a coin. Celeste will reference a gambling manga in three of her free time events. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, because she is the ultimate gambler, isn't she? Oh, do I have to go through every single one of these? It's a washing machine, a washing machine. That's nothing to do with the kiss. No, okay. Over here. So it doesn't have any way to... Oh no. Oh no. I thought there was going to be something in here. Uh, no, I've never paid Catherine. Um, what's it about? Right, so... Yeah, Kyoko. Yeah, Kyoko's the other one. The other thing that will help me. Uh... So let's go into... Makoto's room. Well, Sayaka's room. It's a romantic horror. That seems interesting. If you came over from uh, the YouTube channel, or if you're just sort of uh, watching now, um, I, as you don't know, I love romance, uh, anime, manga, games. Uh, I just, I think it just adds a lot more to relationships. It makes it more in depth, and it's, just, it's interesting. So let's get the DVD. DVD with Saika's name on it. Saika got really messed up after seeing what was on this video. I wonder what she... Uh, it's directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out. Oh, I'm sorry, Saika. I need to borrow this DVD. Climb a hellish pillar of blocks every night to get to the cathedral. Oh. Might check it out. Uh, 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 it's an... Uh, Atlas game. Is that... Um, the guys that made it, Atlas, or... Oh, 
the AV room. I can't teleport to the AV room. That bums me out. known for Persona. Persona is a game, I, I've got Persona 3 manga, um, and Persona is just a game that I'm super fucking interested in, man. I've never played them, but to the white blocks on each floor. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, Alright, well let's just watch this then, I guess. What's that down screen? DVD? The player. I pushed play and the screen went dark for a few seconds, but then... I assume, I assume it's her bandmates, yeah. Standing on stage, front and centre was a face I recognised all too well. <coughs> Sayaka. <coughs> she was there along with the friends she said she had uh, been so important to her. She was positively glowing in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept, except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then the voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. I don't know. The ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then. But then. Suddenly the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <laughs> They're dead already? Disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I had noticed even more than that were the figures of the other girls who had been simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. S su sorry, super duper high school, school Idru. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. Indeed. I do. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? To graduation. Without warning, the video cut off. What? What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say that he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would just take things this far? A crazy person. A crazy person. So, uh, I'm getting oh. tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Yay! Now then, allow me to <sighs> appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! Red door on the first floor. Alright. Alright. Let's do this. Because I know who it is. I know. Where I have to go. Yeah. Alright. Pulling the sleeves up, lads. It's getting real. It's getting real. Oi. I bet you were afraid you would be discovered at the murder you are. Just saved that for the class trial. Exactly. I might get this guy on my side. I don't know. But he seems like a bit of a... You know, he's got a stick up his ass. That's a very good question. Uh, can I check that from here? System. Options. Uh, I think... I have it on the... Uh, on the middle one. I did it's definitely not the easiest one. 
I think it's on the middle one or the one above that. But it's, I can't remember, honestly. So they're really convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Psycho both know that all too well. Me and Psycho. Taka is the ultimate moral compass. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But what if that compass slowly starts to break? But then, who is the killer? Because if he's the ultimate moral compass, when you think about it, right, it's going to be super easy to sort of... Uh, he was a super duper high school homer. <laughs> yeah. Um, if he's the ultimate compass... All it takes is for him to do one thing wrong, and then you could twist and slowly sort of uh, twist his emotions and bend him to your will. Because he'll just sort of think to himself, like, I fucked up, I did this, I did this. One of us, apparently. <laughs> is everyone here? Okay, then. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to, to the, the courtroom, court. where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. I will say, no spoilers. No spoilers, please. Because this is my first playthrough, so no, no spoilers. No spoilers. I kind of want to talk to everyone again, but I, I feel like they're just going to be saying the same shit. Time's funny, Karma. You ready? So the school basement has become the darkened stage. Whoa, man. I didn't know that it was going to people die in this game. What? Very cool. You, you little shit. I know you did it. I did my job. I'm counting on the rest of you from here on out. She's gonna be like, you did it, haha. -ha. So insistent, even though everybody. Yeah, she'll fucking die. Celeste, girl, help me out. Well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? What the heck? I can't help but wonder whoever killed Psycho is feeling right now. Yeah, well, we don't oh, need to know how they're I'm feeling. Sorry. To pop my random DR strips. Uh, sorry, in the end, I wasn't able to do anything looking. I'm glad you enjoy watching my suffering. Thank you. <laughs> Is this really how Psycho would want us to find out who killed her? Probably not. I haven't decided 100% you're the culprit just yet. Maybe you're obviously leaning that way? Yeah. Kyoko, help me. Let's get started. Okay, thanks. Good, hey. good words. No point standing around, sell your resolve and step into the future. Impossible. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you're looking to confuse me. I probably end up getting way more confused without without your help, but believe me, I get confused easy. Damn, we really gotta go through this glass trial thing, huh? If you wanna confess, I guess now's the time to do it. I'm telling you I didn't do it. What? What? Whoever uh, stuck us here even took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Guess I have no choice but to get in the elevator. Well, yes, indeed. Hey. Nope, scared isn't quite right. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sykes' death. I didn't need someone else to let me know that. Psycho's honor, I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raised my voice to try and give myself courage, I turned, trembling with anticipation towards the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart start to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator when I stepped on. Doors closed, the elevator started to move. <laughs> Gotta get that elevator music gone. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds towards the school's basement. I wonder if this is how death drawing mitt feels when oh. this time has finally come. Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bow uh, bowels of the school. <laughs> you 
finally arrived. What do you think? Doesn't it feel more like a courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Not even close. It's total shit. I like Munda. I like Munda. Okay, okay. Everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Hurry up now. Hurry up. <clears throat> we did what he said and found our seats. But there aren't seats. You're standing. That triggers me a little bit. That triggers me. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Which meant it would be easy for anyone to transfer their tensions and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. I'm curious though, uh, if because I know you can like go through this game again. Do the murders change? Like I assume Sayaka dies um, straight away, but like the fact that Junko uh, died already, does that change at all, or is it sort of just the same thing? It's just you can do things differently. The curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, and a deadly faith. A deadly class trial. No? Ah! 2012. Would you like to save? Yes, please. Set skills. Sure. I, d I don't know what that's going to do. Even low combos will increase the tempo, but effective during the bullet time. There's a time trial? Oh no, increases damage to the opponent when a, a statement is destroyed. Effective during... I'm so scared right now. I, I didn't know this was a thing. Okay, okay. Open e-handbook. Right, so let's just go through some evidence again. Right, we know that much. Evidence of a struggle, replica sword. The sword was found, bits of gold from the sword written on her wrist, uh, which was broken. The sheath seemed damaged. Switching rooms, yeah. Toolkit, mine is fine. Mine wasn't open at all. Um, if for a game like that, I'd recommend Lost Dimension. Thanks for the recommendation, I'll definitely check that out. Lost Dimension. Getting nice fucking games from you today, man. Thank you. I'm gonna have to go relook through all the chat to get them. Definitely good luck. Is it on PC? Lost Dimension? Room cleanliness. Psycho's wrist. I need to see what wrist it was. White wrist. Okay. She had been fractured. Her wrist was glittery at the injuries. Uh, in addition, her hands had been completely clean, except for the index finger, which uh, on her left hand. Which had blood on it. Ugh. A dying message spot Leon. Door frame was not. That open. Only two people know the trick. Door names had been switched. I. Trash compacted incinerator. Finish, let's go. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course! Okay then, everyone close your eyes, and whoever did it, raise your hand! <laughs> That's the- Don't be a damn damn <gasps> Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? 
I'm glad. I'm glad to have voice act. Uh, have, like full voice acting scenes. I feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Chinko, my bro, my bro. Friendship penetrates. It is coming to PC, no date, but it is on VR. Okay, cool. I'm glad it's come to PC. And uh, this guy, this guy. Okay, but what about that other empty seat? Yeah, I was going to ask about that. There was another one, and like where the shot was coming through, coming from. There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. That's going to come back at some point. To get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. Okay. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? <laughs> yeah. Well, things progress during each Clash Trial. You will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after the other uh, without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. What this means is that you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Ah. Any relevant truth bullets you found during your investigation will be reloaded into the truth cylinder. Use the mouse to aim and fire the left mouse button. Oh shit, I have to be a good aim. Pay close attention to each character's statements and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Uh, note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the escape key during the arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Alright, so I have to shoot the bad, I have to shoot the ones that are lies. I got you, I got you. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. True. Yeah, we know that part already. True. The murder took place in Makoto's room. True. In the bathroom. True. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. Something's off about what was just said. Dagon Wampa translates to shoot for the truth of the Interesting! I did not know that! Thank you for letting me know. Something seems off about what she just said. Because if Saika hadn't resisted at all, there'd be no explanation for what happened to my room. For this first debate, we'd like to take a quick sidebar. If you're unable to spot and refute someone's lies or contradiction, the arguments will repeat. Within a group of statements, some words appear in a different colour. Did you happen to notice I did? That represents a potential hole in a person's statement, a possible weak spot. Uh, these weak spots reveal important, though not always inaccurate, sections of a person's statement. Okay, so shoot the yellow lines. Your truth bullets are only effective against these weak spots. So when you see one come up, take aim and fire, but only if you're sure it's actually wrong. Also, you can fast forward an argument by holding the control key. Well then, good luck and have fun. I assert that the one who was murdered okay. was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in the coat. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. No, that's wrong. Brick. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? I don't think so. She must have yeah. been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, 
And that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. For once, I agree with the asshole. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. I mean, it kind of is. What was yours to kill Sayaka? I mean, I'm going to go ahead and guess the knife. So what was used to kill her? There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. It's a knife. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. How could anyone do something like that? That son of a bitch. It's almost certainly the knife that disappeared from a certain location. So what was used to kill I just shot it. it. I must have missed. That's my bad. Some kind of sharp object thrust into her without a doubt. So the killer used some random knife they had. There we go. I hit it. Yeah, I missed. I thought you just had to aim when he said that. I didn't realize you had to hit it. No. I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost yeah. positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. I do not. I do not play FPS games. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Try and pass that shit off on me! That's Not in my house. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Hold on a second. I'm... Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Thank you. Otherwise, and this is why I'm trying to get her on my side. Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? There's got to be uh, breaking through somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Yes. Just in case I'm missing something. You can concentrate by holding down the space key. While you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. Top of that, it will steady your aim. Making it harder to hit potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gauge. And if the forget gauge empties, you can't concentrate. But the focus gauge will cover over time. So let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Well then, good luck and have fun. Pink blood isn't a censorship thing. Uh, I not didn't they actually do it to um? Oh really? I thought I thought they did it so that uh so that it could actually get uh, sold at, like a PG or like a certain uh a lower um age rating or something like that. Well then, good luck and have fun. Oh, well it's good. It's nice to know that it wasn't sort of just censorship. Oh, there's a card. Okay. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. But where does that get us? Makoto must have taken it from the kitchen, right? He did it in sequence. You know. Boom. No, that's wrong. It was originally much darker. Oh. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you, you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? More Solak. Okay, that would be that would be really cool. I read a manga called Doubt before, and it's very similar to this. But I, I again would say it's more Solak. It's really, really fucking good. It's only got two volumes. Um, and they're really, really, like, they're quite thick volumes. But they're really, really good. I would recommend it. 
Remember what you were telling me earlier? Tea from the kitchen last night. Dawn and I were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying a knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall. Yeah, that's really good. So you're saying, yep. Uh, yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Correct. Y yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Bam. Innocent. Uh, yeah, the end for doubt was... Was different. I didn't expect it either. Um, I expected something... I can't, I can't exactly remember what I... Like, I had a theory and I was like, ha! And it was half right. And I can't exactly remember what it was. But I didn't, I, I didn't expect the ending. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together? And lying to protect each other? That would be an awful idea, because then in the end, one of us would have to kill each other. Because only one person girl? can win. Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. Yeah. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? Oh, zero skip. Gonna have to look up all these games you let me know about. Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Oops, did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't that go bear, to the man. dining hall. That bear. And I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Hina seemed the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. Hey. That's right. Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Oh? I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. Exactly. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night oh. together? It's, it's unwholesome! Oh, my man, you messed up. I'm a girl. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Is she meant to be like French or something, Celeste? Is she meant to be French? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Leon. Oh, yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first? Well, because they're not here anymore. Oh, Junko. 
Sayaka. Oh she shit. Came to the dining hall. And then later So she took the knife for self defense. Oh shit, she took the knife for self defense. Um she dropped the key while she was out or something like that. She took the key. She dropped the key when she was out. But how did she get back in? Unless she left the door unlocked. She came back in. She left the door. That was it. That was it. She le she went out. She got a knife. Came back. Door was unlocked that entire time. So. As soon as she came back in. That's when. Your man Leon came up with the fake sword. Or the uh sword thing attacked her she put her wrist up a defense it hit her wrist breaking it then she ran into the bathroom where she had to drop the key in a panic because she had the key in her hand right the key in her hand hit the wrist ow broke key dropped she ran into the bathroom after a scuffle she locked it and then he broke in he took the knife in another struggle and then stabbed her that's what it happened that is what happened Took the knife from the kitchen was. Sayaka. I got it. Then Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... Then the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? See? He did do it after all! No! You're wrong! So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Mm hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. I don't do anything, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't they understand? If they convicted me, everyone's gonna die. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Mikhail Thank you, Kyoko! She's she's gonna be my wife. That's it. I'm marrying this woman. She's saving my ass right now. Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? She is. Kyoko is bare. Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Your first hangman's gambit is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? <laughs> yes! As things advance further in the class trial, the hangman gambit will eventually take place. The point of this is to reveal an important phrase relating to the incident in question. You'll have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around and the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Fuck! Use the mouse to aim, left mouse button to shoot desired letters. If you shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to influence gauge. If this gauge reaches zero, if we run out of time, you fail. Well then, good luck and have fun. Something that should have been at the scene but wasn't. The hair. It has to be the hair, right? If we can figure out what something was. Yeah, hair. No, no. Hair. Now that would have been two shots. That's right! There wasn't a single hair on the floor! So, 
the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? I did it. I did it, Ma. I did it. It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. No, because why would I then leave that her? That makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself. See? Not just Kyoko, I'm teaming up with you, pal. You're mine. That's it. We, we gonna be buds. Yeah, I said that in the past few streams I've done of uh, Danganronpa. It has fantastic music. <laughs> yes, very true. Very true. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that yeah, they yeah. had ever been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. <gasps> Kyoko! Then, Makoto isn't the culprit? But are you sure we can decide something so important <clears throat> based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom. Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, yeah. and stabbed her. But the door was broke. I would have known how to get into the door. I wouldn't have had to break the lock. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? Object killer broke was... Oh. Doorknob. Object killer broke was... Yeah, doorknob. I got it! Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. I got this. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing be- You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Kyoko said it wasn't a building act. I almost didn't notice it first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to? Sure. From here on out, the number of weak spots will start going going up. But no matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one lie or contradiction in the debate. What I'm going to say is, not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth bullet on the wrong one, and not only will you fail to refute what they say, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. Now, this is most important, because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or contradiction. Whew, I got this. Well then, good luck and have fun. Bathroom door frame. Whew! The incident took place in Makoto's room. True. Sayaka was first attacked in the main room. True. She then fled into the bathroom. True. Then the killer ran after her. True. And they got into the bathroom. Yep. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. True. Because Sayaka had locked it. No, that's wrong. Yep. Sayaka had locked it. Nope. The there ain't the in locks. There ain't no locks. 
After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with walk-in bathrooms, right? Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? Yeah. What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yep. True as true can be. Yeah, I'm I'm banging this one out, man. I'm awesome at this. You know, Top level investigator. Be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door. It's just I am the ultimate lucky student. The fact that I had a cruddy door is saving my ass in this case. So that's lucky as fuck. <laughs> that's not lucky at all. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. <laughs> But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Yeah, yeah, I know Monokuma don't lie about shit. Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. It was Sayaka that switched the bat, that switched the uh, things around. She she switched the uh, name plates around. In other words, most important detail about the crime scene was. Uh, in other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime uh, that they didn't know was the crime took place. Where, in other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime that they didn't know was the crime took place in my room. I got it! The killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? I had to double check the, the writing on that one, because I was like, I'm not reading this right. And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? Say what? <laughs> well, to be more specific... <laughs> What the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Oh. Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through. Yep. So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident, but... The killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening. Exactly. Right? That is a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Then Makoto couldn't have done it. Well, I mean, technically I still could have done it, but I mean, I'm just going to keep that shit to myself. Okay, then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. <laughs> <laughs> Quit without saving. Decide on who we think did it. Well then. Why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules. No! Don't be fucking dumb! Majority rules? You really think that's a good idea? This fucking guy. Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. Does no one have any other thoughts <sighs> or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. Right. Oh, you... She seems just disappointed. So yeah, like fuck. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, well, I was just wondering how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Hmm. Yes. How did mm -hmm. the killer get inside? Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Exactly. Then, maybe someone picked the lock? No. Negative! If you remember, Monokuma yep. made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Fine. 
How about this? The killer got in the easy way. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. It's possible, but I doubt it. She said no, she won't let anyone in. She was terrified. Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his. Shut up. Oh, why exactly can't that be it? She asked me to do something in particular because of how frightened she was. That's right, the answer there. There's no way Psycho would let someone in because. Shit, I've completely forgot. Wait, there's no way Psycho would let someone in because. It's got to be the switching rooms. I've completely fucking forgot. It's got to be switching rooms. I got it. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's no. why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. I got this. Same goes for you, Psycho. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, that's what's the point of even switching? Knowing what exactly. she's been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? There's someone... Uh-huh. Oh, that bitch! Right. I'm not gonna lie right now, okay? I had this thought. I had this thought when we switched rooms, like... What if, like, what if she murdered someone in my room? I would look guilty as fuck, right? But then when she was killed there, when she was killed there, I was like, nah, that's obviously not what's happening. It's just a plot device to make me look guilty for the, like, for the trial. Oh, that bitch. I knew she was using me. Like, go back. Check the VODs. Check the VODs. Check the YouTube channel. Check everything. I knew that bitch was using me. I knew it. I fucking knew it. And I second-guessed myself because she was killed. I second-guessed myself because she got killed. I fucking knew it. I found a notepad during my search. Oh. I in the top sheet with a pencil. I got played to shit, man. I got played to shit. You're not wrong. And these are the words that appeared. Oh man, I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap. I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique. But even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Can't. It does, and that's why I was so suspicious of it, man. It forces the cute fucking, like, idol on you. And you're like, come on, this is suspicious. And she knows me from my past? That's suspicious as fuck. That's suspicious as fuck. And she's interested in me. This rich idol, this sensation, is interested in a regular guy. Nah, fam. So... This is what I'm going to say right now. She sent that to Leon. Leon came to the room. She tried to attack him with the knife. He used a sword in defense, hit her, and then killed her. That's the only thing I could see this happening. In, in the raid, she just sort of killed her. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means... Only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. 
then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write... No, I didn't. But, of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. But, but why? Why would she write that? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? She's not wrong. Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. <laughs> and yeah, I, I, I think that's a valid argument for him. I honestly do. But can we be sure anyone even got this oh. note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not. Think That's why he didn't want me in his room. Happened. He had that note there, and it's on like it probably in his. Uh, it is uh, rubbish or his trash or on his desk. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Duh. Very well then. Pay attention. All right, another round. What's my bullet? Dorm nameplates. Okay. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? Yep. But in the note, the place they were asked to come to. And she specified. Look at the nameplates. My room. Yep. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So in other words, even if someone did read the note and did what it said, they would not have any connection to what happened. Hmm. It certainly would seem that way. Just for that is switch between my own cycles. Sayaka and Makoto. Oh, I switched it. I, I know what one I have to go for them. The the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says, my room. Yeah. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Here it comes. Exactly. The room that ma- No, that's wrong. You have a store down as well. It's f yeah, yeah, I know. The nameplates on my- It's just, I, I was waiting for a lie to pop up. And then I just thought, then it sort of hit me. You don't necessarily click on the lie. Just click on the thing that would counter this. They got switched. That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name, and the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Yep. Then, if someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. This bitch. Plus, their rooms are right this next bitch. to each other. So switching I the can't believe, would be no like, problem. I can't believe I fell for it. Like, as soon as she died, I was like, it's fine then. I guess she wasn't playing a game on me. But then she, like, she was. She fucking was. And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you. Right, Makoto? No. Right, okay, then who did it? She did. I got it! Me and Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates. You can also infer as much from her note. Yep, she specifies, look at the nameplates. She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. Yep. But why would she switch them in the first place? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in. And also, also. hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. Yeah. What? She was setting up to kill a bitch. Someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switch and then free me for it. To understand that, 
then she would probably act as a witness saying that I killed that person. We first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her. Nope, she attacked we them. We figured it out. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot. Sayaka fought with her killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me. There was a replica mm -hmm. sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Oh yeah, what's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? Because you touch it, gold comes off. And she had gold on her wrist from when it hit her. All you have to do is take yep. a good look at her broken wrist, <sighs> and it should become pretty clear. I can't believe this shit, man. Right there where her wrist is all swollen. Never second guessing myself again. There. Never See? second guess myself again on this game. Is, is that gold? It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. Right. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword right there on her wrist! Exactly. I see, I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. Alright, then it's about time to solve this mystery. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <coughs> There's a bit more to learn. Fucking hell, how much more is there to learn? Getting used to these non-stop debates. Starting with the next bit, I'll start loading multiple truth bullets into your cell. Oh, fuck. But, just like with the weak spots, only one of those bullets can actually refute the proper statement. In other words, from here on out, you'll have to combine the right truth bullets with the right weak spots to refute each statement. If you come up with the wrong combination, you'll take damage to your influence gauge. You can push Q key to rotate cylinder, press uh, and release the Q key to cycle through each bullet. Or you can use the mouse wheel. By the way, if the logic difficulty is set to kind, fewer bullets will be loaded into the cylinder. Uh, for our purposes this time, the logic difficulty will be set to mean. Cool. Yep. Uh, good luck and have fun. Replica sword sheath. Kitchen knife set. Replica sword. Okay. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword, and that's when the first blow was dealt. <coughs> the sword-based sneak attack. No, that's wrong. <coughs> Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Because the base was damaged. Huh? Why not? I could be wrong. Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the yep. only sharp thing found at the scene. She attacked them. They grabbed the sword and then it blocked it. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. Yep. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? Exactly. And that's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Yep. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. 
In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath uh. the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. No. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the <clears throat> culprit took that from her too. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword... This guy's an idiot. He's an idiot. Finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. What? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. They're her hands. Yeah. I got it! You're talking about her palms, right? The palms of her hands were perfectly clean. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Because then gold would have been there. These like people need before, to listen. The gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. In fact, if you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. Yeah, that's the thing I do. I'm being, well, in the middle of a fight, I run to the bathroom to sort of get away from it, and then I wash my hands because, you know, fucking why not cleanliness and whatnot. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? Yes, yes it is. No, that's not it at all. I mean, no. No way Saika washed the gold coating off her hands because there's a certain regulation that talks about no water in the at night. Yeah. She's afraid of water! I got it! <laughs> According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. Yep. In other words, at night time. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at night time. Right? Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, I haven't taken a shower here yet. Oh, my. You're no different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. Oh, yeah, I know. Hydrophobia is real. Hmm? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. I don't know how you could take that as a compliment, fam. But insult, good on you. Obviously. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. Correct. But hold on. If that's right, then the one who damaged the sheath with the kitchen knife was the one who damaged the sheath with the kitchen knife was Sayaka. Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first. Indeed. And the sword was used as an impromptu defense. Then the one who attacked first was... Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if... She'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. Yup. She took the knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Kyoko had three. Yeah. Kyoko knew it. What the fuck happened? She knew what was going on. She's Which smart. Brings up another point. Nakoto. Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That exactly. Is a possibility, is it not? Sayaka wanted to... on me? That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. 
She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, yeah. even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid, or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Wait, then... She's not wrong. ...saying she had this all planned out? Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. Yeah. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she'd planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be because... Because... Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument! You're being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Wouldn't it be awful oh. if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh, yeah. We gotta decide who we think did it. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka... Obviously, I've committed to finding out who killed her. But, what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. Yes, there is! Yes, there is! Another round. Alright. Let's go. Dying message. Okay. Whew! It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? Boom! No, that's wrong! There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. Written no. in her own blood. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? I mean, she had the blood on her finger. I got it! Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, mm. what the heck do those numbers mean? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. <laughs> no, yeah, you know about numbers and shit. You yes, do computers. I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're, they're not, not numbers. numbers. Exactly. Oh, yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? Hey, no, it's just... A look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one, one look less like two numbers and more like one letter ah oh, you're right the connecting line is barely there so i assumed it was one one but looking at it now you could also read it as an n whoa you might have finally just said something worth a shit chiro is, is super kawaii yes yes she is <laughs> our little gray cells are really getting excited now. I just, I just can't wait to where we black Leon, you little bitch. She killed a person. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Ha! 
Come on. Rotate the image 180 degrees. That's it. That's it. Can I play as her? I want to play as her. Rotate it. Oh my god. Now I see. Yep. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue card and right on to who did it. So, whose name did she write? How are they not getting this? <laughs> Reveals the killer's name. If you turn the rest of 180 degrees, it should come up crystal clear. Select someone. Nope. Just me! I did it! There he is. Here's my answer. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N. L E O N, or more accurately, Leon. I guess. Eh. What? What the hell are you talking about? It's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally and had to write upside down as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. D that sounds like one <laughs> hell of a secret sixteenth shouldn't. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I guess a little bit. I, I was just trying to write Leon behind me, but I, I can't get a feel for it. But I guess a little bit. I'm the killer. You can't just go and say shit like that. You just did it to me, fam. Not the killer. Then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Yeah. The when he got the ball and he threw it like a done. fucking baseball. Uh, it's that thing I found in front of Grant. So, right. Yeah. I got it. You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? Yes. As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? Yeah, okay. we got this motherfucker. We got him. Is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty. No, it's not. But I got yeah. something else. I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button-up. That—that's right. There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. We got him. We got him. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. Burnt remains of the button-up shirt which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. Uh, wait, there's something about we need to pay attention to to figure out who's responsible. How it was disposed. I got it! If we look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? Unless you got a mad throwing arm. And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. Unless you got a mad throwing arm. The key to get in, and the one with the key was the. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. Nope, that's wrong. There was another way to use incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty. 
And that's exactly what proves Leon is the real killer. Here we go. Back at it again, boys. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy nope. the evidence. Oh, nope. shut up. No, that's wrong. I might have accidentally tried to shoot the wrong one. I oh, panicked. <laughs> I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you use this. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but uh But how would you use it? Kill a hatch's glass ball in a certain way. Divide with it. They were like, please, please. I got it. Do something. The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator yep. would come to life. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Huh, someone tried on the incinerator. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Nope, not today. Hifumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Exactly. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator <clears throat> left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer yep. had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance we from the got you, the fam. Has we got you. At least Thirty feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? That—that's right. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is. I wouldn't have been much of a challenge at all for the killer because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the yeah. ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I'm not the killer. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay then, Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? You gon' die, motherfucker. Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. And the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. Of course, now you're inside to begin. Would you like to hear more? Sure. Every case has one last element to bring the class trial to an end. The closing argument. In this phrase, uh, you'll give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the flow of events. A case uh, in the form of a comic book. However, you'll notice in the comic there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. Also, if you take aim in a missing section and left mouse button, holy cow, you'll get a hit. A hint that might lead to a breakthrough. Okay. Well, uh, good luck and have fun. Time for some manga. Finish the thought. Bum, bum. Plus. There we go. Um, is that it? There we go. Uh, I 
Oh wait. I need to... Do I need to go back a bit? I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh, it's Manga. Haha, -ha, obviously. It's backwards. <laughs> Whew, that was close. That was close. Uh, right. Let's just see if there's anything else. And then, whoop. Hits her hand, she drops the knife. She runs for the bathroom, closing the door. Oh, wait. There we go. Closing the door. No, no, no. This has to be it. Duplicates. Okay. Bleah. Get stabbed, son. Let's just... Stabbed. She writes her name. Leaves it behind. Ha ha. Go over here. To this. Throws it. Actually, wait. Bam. Nope. Nope. I, I had it right the first time. I had it right the first time. I'm good at this game. Leave me alone. Smashes, gets that all done up, throws that in the fire, walks away, but wait a minute, bam. Right, we got it, lads, we got it. Here's exactly what happened. We got it. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Last night. The killer went to the room Sayaka was in. We got this. In other words, my, my room. room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. Yup. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. She getting panicky. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. Stabby stabby. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her.
And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Hmm. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They yep. tried to burn the <coughs> shirt using the incinerator there. Yep. The trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. <coughs> so they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball. Which he left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the only baseball. Indeed. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Sleeve fell off. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Get wrecked, kid. I gotcha, bitch. Isn't that right, Leon? I got you, bitch. It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. Yep, you got it. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. First bullet time battle was about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yes. Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you will engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to this bullet time battle. During the B2B, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. Ah, oh, shit. Rhythm fucking games. During the B2B. Dance Dance Revolution, okay. Match your button with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. One button locks on, you can lock onto multiple. The other fires. Okay. Press button to lock on to an opponent's statement. Right, to destroy a statement you've locked onto with the left mouse button and the temple marker reaches the center. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Do damage to your opponent. If you can pull it off, you'll be the one. This essentially you start to come combo. This is going and you will initiate temple up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you get a tempo down situation. When the tempo changes, so does the timing for hitting each button. So, watch out for that. 
shit, I'm going to fuck up so bad. I, I'm so bad at rhythm games. Deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak spot statement will appear. Okay. At that point, you can press the left mouse button to shut it down with a truth bullet like any other statement. Whew. I suck at these kinds of games. Refute the statement fast enough and you will become victorious. But, just like before, if your influence gauge reaches zero, you'll fail. Well then, good luck and have fun. Are you going to learn some? Oh no! I when suck at these games! The keys from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. I refuse to acknowledge you! You're stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid, 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 stupid! That's, that's just childish. I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. I need to figure it out. Oh no. Oh no. Moment of truth. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Stop talking. Shut up. Where's your proof? Uh, you kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Shut up. Who's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Stop talking. Shut up. Oh, I Where's get it. Proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. Uh. You lie. Shut up. Shut up. Stupid. I got it. I got. A, yeah, I got a hang of it at the end. I realized what I needed to do. This should prove it. I was trying to right click and left click at the same time. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the tool kits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the tool kit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got tool kits. So the killer naturally assumes there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. Good. He's, he's in despair. I like this. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. I got beef for that last one because I fucked up so many times. That's fair. That's fair. Oh. Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Maybe. Okay, then let's get excited! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? 
or the dreadfully wrong one. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? We did it, Ma. <laughs> like it in this case, the one that killed Saika Yahoo! was none other than Leon Kuwata. Huh? Hey, hold on. It's like a Leon, Leon, did you really kill a Saika? I don't believe it. You son of a son bitch. of a bitch! What the hell is wrong with you? I, I didn't have a choice. It was kill or be killed. So that's, that's why, why I killed her first. None of you are any different. And you'd be the one standing here. Shit! He's breaking down. He's breaking down. It was completely, ch complete chat side wide up I like this. Just... I was just unlucky. That's all. I mean, I get what he said. It was self defense in a way, but then he straight up murdered a person. You could have ran when she was in the bathroom. Come on. You'd expect me to just accept my death. And then just told the rest of them. Granted, it would have been like, oh, what the fuck, but... Everything's become clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if we came up with really... If what we came up with really is the truth... Then that truth is that Saika was trying to frame me. Yeah. Even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all the mastermind, it's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her, the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Yeah, there's no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Why? I can't afford what? to be stuck in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else, her dreams, her friends. To have something like that happen to them. In Saika. I... Did whatever I, it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even things that weren't so pleasant. I wonder what she actually had to go through and like... To actually get there, and that's what Saika, for the friends that she meant so much to her. That's why she betrayed me. So when she said... No matter what happens... Please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> she was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Yep. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I could do to ask her what she was thinking. I don't think she was, like, I, at first I think she was just like, oh, uh, I, th I think she was like, okay, well, this person, I know him, so I'll latch on to him. And then it sort of became a, I can use this guy. So it's like, at first I think she was like, oh shit, no, I need to grab on what I'm used to. I know this guy. And then, then it became, I can, I can use this idiot to my own, like, to do my bidding. And just, like, as a patsy. That's all. <laughs> Boy, howdy. The entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. She seemed so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside she descended into pure madness. What, what did you say? I understand, really, I do. Yep, yep. You're the art of despair. You're an art of despair thanks to Psycho's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Psycho being forced to do something like that. All of it, everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly, in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. But. That's enough. She's saving our asses again, fam. She knows. She's saving our asses. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron, strong enough. Uh, sh I was sure it would leave a bruise. Calm down. If you really want to make uh, enemies uh, pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Yeah. Ba -bam, ba -bam. Ah, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were going to give me a sec- a uh, good walloping. Just barely avoided punishment you did. Yes, indeed. Now then, since you've so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, 
The blackened Leon Kawata will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? You gon' die. Wait a second. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it? what. That's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. I, it was self-defense. Okay? How exactly was it self-defense? Mm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you, or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she'd shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of our way. Uh, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? Exactly. Do you See? understand? Number of chances to stop what you were doing, but you chose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So, that's why. Stop it! I've had enough of this. Oh. Are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Saika. Do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Saika either, because because one to blame is him. Huh? What? If it weren't for you. This never would have happened to Saika or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who puts us in the situation, the mastermind. I get he's, he's right and he's wrong. Did you awaken your sense of justice? Hey, um... Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetrate war all over the world. Again, he's not wrong. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up. Okay, well, anyway, more importantly, Thrills, chills, let's hurry up and get kills. to whatever everyone's been waiting for. The punishment. I'm begging you. Please, don't do this. Hey, come on now. No more begging. No more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop, please. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. Is he going to be beaten to death with baseball bats or something? No, 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 no! Let's give it everything we've got! King of Visual Novels for reasons. punishment time! No! Cutscene! Oh shit. Are they gonna just bat balls at him? That's what's gonna happen, isn't it? Oh shit. Yeah, the balls are just gonna. Is that like a Gatling gun of balls? Of baseballs? Savage. And they're all watching. Holy shit. The 1000 blow. That's got to fucking kill. Literally. Can you imagine witnessing that? Holy shit. Holy shit. Mark, what we saw, that was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme! <laughs> Man, my adrenaline is bumping right out of control. <laughs> What's going on? I, I can't take it. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it. Well? Hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. 
Man, this is so fucked up and I love it. Damn you. Man, fuck you. Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? What the heck? Mutual killer was Leon who was guilty for killing Kyoko. Oh, shit. Evil. You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. Say what? Or in this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. Well... Huh. That's interesting. So, why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Hey, um... It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. It's not wrong. Not wrong. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Um... Hey, uh, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying fit together. Dude, you piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> you really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're breaking way, barking way out the wrong tree, not baking. <laughs> What happened, happened, because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut tr uh, cut free. Uh, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Oh, cracked my back. Been sat here for a while. Of course, we can't cut free of the outside world. Being strapped in this insane place. Hmm. You're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you all learn the mysteries of this school... Your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful we get to live here forever? What, does this what mean? are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Thrills, anyway, thrills, let's go back to, to the Blacken's punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for, after all. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring <laughs> to? This is being broadcast live on TV or something. I, I guarantee it. That's what this is. Got to say, I need to save some fun for later. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. Hey, he left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no. It wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stoned, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my Dakota. ear. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Saika, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started, you had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Saika betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool, becoming such an easy target it's like true. that. Saika meant to double cross you. That's a fact you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She wasn't think- wait, she was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure, and we can't ask However... her now. Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. So... What? The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave a dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well... Maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who'd killed Certainly. her. That's one possibility. But I don't think that's what it is. Anyway. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Saika and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such desperate situation. Move past their deaths. That's it. I could never do it. No. I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Psycho, I'll carry them with me forever. 
I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As you said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Saika? Oh, well. I'm psychic. What? <laughs> He's picked it up from Saika. Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. Chapter 1 complete. The end. Man, I still feel like Junko didn't need to die. <laughs> Despair bat present. Okay. Do you want to save data? Um, yes, obviously, please. Uh, right. Now that we've finished chapter one, I'm going to end it there, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Rich, I've been, you've been here uh, almost the entire stream. Thank you for uh, staying with me, my man. Thank you for keeping chat interesting. Um, if you like what you're looking at, guys, don't forget to follow so that you're alerted every time I stream. Because um, I stream this relatively often. I'm probably going to be streaming this every Tuesday. Um, and I might do it Thursday, but I might be doing something else Thursday. But I am going to be streaming a lot more from now often. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I've been a bear. I'm going to go hibernate, eat fish, do a bit of things. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys. And uh, yeah, that was that was certainly a thing. Chapter 1 down. Chapter 2, I hope certainly just as interesting. See you later, guys.